What is up guys, Delboy here, covering another fight that is going to go down in the World Boxing Super Series, this time again in the Cruiserweight division, and that fight is between Murat Gasayev versus Kristov Uladarshik. This fight is actually um, Murat Gasayev's mandatory, um, so we'll see, we'll see how he gets on. I think it's a good matchup actually, uh, particularly for Murat Gasayev's first title defence. Because obviously Wladarczyk comes into this fight with a lot of experience. He's durable, he's never been knocked out, and he's had 55 fights. So he's going to come in here with a lot of experience, a lot of know-how, and he's, and he's fought some very good fighters at Cruiserweight over the years. So it's a good first title defence for Murat Gasayev. Um, but having said that, you know... It, it, it does all depend on what Wladarczyk uh, has left because he is 35, he's had a long career. Um, so it is dependent partly on that. I mean, Gasayev himself, he is only 23 years old. He's not had much of an amateur background. And he's a world champion in 24 fights, you know. With, with not much amateur background at 23 years old, that is quite impressive. And in his last outing against... Um, Denis Lebedev, he clearly won the fight, obviously, but there were times when you could tell Lebedev was clearly the more skilled operator. He was clearly the more seasoned guy, and there was a few moments in that fight where Gasayev's inexperience did show a bit. I felt there was times in that fight where Gasayev should have used his jab more because he actually has a decent jab when he uses it, but he just doesn't use it enough, and he wasn't doing that in that fight. Also in that fight. There was times where I felt Gasayev could really put on the pressure because there was times when he hurt, when he visibly hurt um, Lebedev, but he never really put his foot on the gas or he could never really sort of um, find those sort of killer shots to get him out of there. So I felt the inexperience was a little bit evident in that fight, despite a winning effort against a very good champion, so that's got to be said. Um, but there's still things to improve on for Gasayev. He's not the finished article yet, he's 23 years old. Um, and I think Vladarshik is the type of fight which will teach him a few things, he's going to gonna pick up experience from it, fighting a former world champion. So in, t in terms of a draw, I think it's quite a good fight for him because it actually gets him a bit more experience for deeper on in the draw, should he win. Um, I mean, Gasayev, he is quite a big cruiserweight, He's six foot three and a half. He's um, a big power puncher, very good body puncher. He sort of stalks you behind. Um, he kind of keeps a high guard. He'll stalk you, will stalk you, will stalk you. He doesn't waste too many punches, and sometimes he's guilty of maybe not throwing enough punches. But you know, he looks for those perfect body shots. He looks for those clear sort of counter right hands, and um, and the hooks uh, to the head. He is methodical. Gasayev, maybe too methodical at times, you know, he just he would benefit a bit more, you know, with a little more creativity in his offense. He throws his shots very well and technically very well, but he doesn't. I I don't think he's create uh, like creative enough with it. I'd like to see him put his shots together more. I'd like to see him use the jab more, you know, and set up his set up his attacks that way instead of sort of relying on his strength and his size and his power. Um, but that will come with time. He's 23 years old, like I said. Uh, well, Adarshik, he, as I said, he's he's very experienced. Again, um, he's also an orthodox fighter. Um, reasonable hand speed for a cruiserweight, you know. I feel well, Adarshik is quite good on the inside too. Um, we've seen. I, I mean, if you look at his fight with uh, Fragameni, who was the ex-European champion, you know, in that fight he looked very good on the inside. And also look at the Shakayev fight. You know, he can fight on the inside very well. And he's um, and he is an accomplished boxer. I mean, he's beat Steve Cunningham by split decision and lost to Steve Cunningham by majority decision when Steve Cunningham was good and, and when he was really sort of at his best. So, he's he's got the boxing skills there to hang with guys like that. So in terms of the technical ability, you could argue that Ladashik is better, but I just feel that the physical attributes that Gasayev has and the power he has is going to make him a massive favourite. And obviously the fact that Bladarshik's had a very tough career. I mean, the last time he fought at world level, in my opinion, was when he lost his title against Grigory Drozd back in 2014. 
And for the record, Grigory Droz was a very good cruiserweight too, but his career got cut short by injuries. And I'm not sure if he's going to come back, but Droz was a very good cruiserweight and he lost that fight quite clearly. He was outboxed in that fight. Uh, since then, he has picked up some wins, uh, most notably against the undefeated Noel Givor, who's sort of a European level cruiserweight in my opinion. He won that fight by split decision, so he didn't really win it with much in hand. So, I mean, I do question how much Wladarczyk has left, because a few years ago, I feel this fight would have had the potential to be a really, really good fight. Um, but I do make Gasayev a big favourite, purely because of his phys uh, physical advantages. He's younger, he's stronger, he's bigger, he hits harder, and Wladarczyk is, is getting on in age now, and he's had a lot of tough fights. Having said that, I wouldn't be surprised if Wladarczyk gives Gasayev some problems early on, you know. Um, on the inside, uh, on the inside particularly, uh, maybe Wladarczyk can mess Gasayev about, you know, make it tricky, make it awkward, make the most of his vast experience. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's actually a decent fight. I think it's a it's a good matchup of styles. They should gel quite well. I think um, you know it could potentially be a little bit of a war while it lasts. But I just feel that Gasayev has all the advantages going into this fight apart from experience really and I did really used to rate Wladarczyk but um, I think now I think he's seen better days put it that way um, but yeah still a good fight still one I'm, I'm sort of uh, anticipating and yeah it, it should be a good one what do you guys think of it peace